We are back with an important consumer confidential, especially during the holiday season. So if you've ever lost a receipt or just skipped reading all those little tiny terms and conditions, this is for you. NBC News senior consumer investigative correspondent Vicki Wynn is here to help us avoid making big mistakes when shopping this holiday season. Good morning, Good Vicki. morning, Dylan. All right. I, I feel like whether I'm online or whenever you see the tiny print, it's like scroll, 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 hit accept. What is in the fine print that we should be reading? We always want to read the fine print no matter what, Dylan, but this holiday shopping season, I want you to pay attention to shipping and return policies, sales, those are also very important, mm -hmm. and the reason why is you don't want to waste your time or your money. Now, we know about sales, but what to, when it comes to actually taking advantage of them when they're in store or online, you got to know what the dates are. You have to know when you can return those those items that you bought. What's that window? So, mm -hmm. so vital. And also when you are in store, you see the buy one, get one. You're tempted to do it. You get to the register and all of a sudden it was, oh, it was only the items on the state on the table, right. not through the whole like, store. But this was on the table. I swear I exactly. saw it right Exactly. It happens <laughs> in the grocery store a lot. My mm -hmm. hack here is just take a picture of the sale sign so that when you get to the register, you can talk about it. They okay. don't have to go back and figure it all out and uh and that, that's really essentially it the shipping policies is also important to know when things are going to arrive and when you can return them okay through. and sometimes with sales you can't always return a sale item but there are other return policies that you should be aware of yes returns are easier than ever this year which is great retailers are really taking two tax some are saying you know what returns are costing us $158 billion collectively per year, we're going to tack on a return fee. So you want to avoid that whenever possible. Other retailers are saying we want to make it as easy as possible for you so you'll keep coming back to us. This year, Happy Returns, which is owned by PayPal, they now have 2,000 locations, meaning let's say you buy some Allbirds shoes. There's not really an Allbirds brick and mortar store, mm -hmm. but you can go to an Ulta store, a makeup store. No packaging needed. It takes a couple of minutes and you get your refund right away. Sometimes they'll even give you a coupon to shop in the store that day day. Mm -hmm. So returns are easier. Amazon also allowing you to return at Whole Foods, UPS at mm -hmm. their lockers as well. So they want to make it simple for you. The key, though, is to make sure you keep your receipts and hang on to your packaging until you yes. know for sure if you want to keep that item. And frankly, at the end of the day, avoid impulse buying. Try not mm -hmm. to buy something if you even suspect you may return it. because That saves you the biggest headache. Yeah, that's true. Sometimes you just keep it because you don't feel like going through the yeah, headache. True. true. All right. Vic, let's talk rebates, because I, I swear everywhere you look now, there's some sort of rebate offer. Are they even legit? They are too legit, Craig. Too legit too to quit? Legit to quit <laughs> my friend. Yes. I, I like that. <laughs> but they are a hassle and a half, right? Rebates often you've got to have. The UPC code, the receipt, you have to buy during a certain time period. Yeah. So if you can keep track of all those details, the rebates are worth it. Sometimes they're online. Sometimes you actually have to mail them in by paper. The tip here with the rebates is to keep track of the six to 12 weeks when you expect to get that money back okay. so that you're not throwing away the check when it comes in the mail or the little mm -hmm. gift card that is the receipt of uh, the rebate because sometimes it looks like junk mail. So if you're good at following instructions and you are patient, rebates really work. I mean, I just did one for Costco. It was $25, probably the hardest I've ever worked for $25. <laughs> <my life. laughs> but I did end up getting it a few weeks later. All right. That's pretty cool. Let's talk yeah. about gift cards, whether you purchase them or receive them. Oh, my gosh. The key with gift cards, Chanel, is to use them or make sure the person you give them to will use them. Yeah. So be thoughtful about where you're buying that gift card. And keep in mind, some gift cards, if you don't use them for two years, they start to charge you fees mm. or some expire after five years. Sometimes yeah. businesses go out of business and then that gift card is worthless. There is an estimate by creditcards.com that we are sitting on collectively 21 billion dollars wow. in unused gift cards with the average gift card ab about $175. I believe that. So the key is if you don't think you're going to get to it or use it, resell it, re-gift it, or donate it to a charity. They actually accept gift cards as well. That's a good, That's idea. A good yeah. Okay. I'm over yeah. here in the Christmas tree, Vicki. Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, in the tree. Buy now, pay later. It's such an attractive idea, but what happens if you miss the payments? It's so popular now. About 28% of Americans have used a buy now, pay later loan, according to Consumer Reports. And what you need to think about is it is a loan. So if you're the type of person who's really great about making your payments on time, go all out with your buy now, pay later. If you're worried you may be missing payments yes, or you're dicey. not on top of it, absolutely. And it can be re reported to your credit bureau. So when you see a firm, Sezzle, Afterpay, uh, Zip, those are all buy now, pay later plans. Just always think of them as a loan. Make sure you understand the terms and know that this can hurt your credit if you don't, don't want those penalties. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. Vicky, helpful as Thank always. You. Thank Thanks, you. Vic. My takeaways, just read the fine print. Yeah, you know, your takeaway is too legit. Too legit to print. <laughs> to read the fine print. <laughs>
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.